the most important thing about photographing a mineral is that a mineral is a geometric solid for the most part and it has color often transparency uh, very complex forms for, made up of uh, crystal faces and uh, those faces have got textures um, for various reasons and uh, what you have to do is define the crystal uh, very accurately I've developed technique where I photograph on a piece of non-glare glass suspended above the background so that I don't get reflections. I can light through the, from behind, from underneath, through the glass. I can light the background completely separately from the specimen. I shoot with, as you see, one diffused light above. You have to have your light diffused because crystal faces are frequently extremely lustrous and you're trying to avoid burned out highlights. Then I have another light which is for the background, which you saw already. And then I usually have a third light, which I call a kicker. When you diffuse your light, which you really have to do for photographing minerals, the more you diffuse it, you're going to have fewer problems with reflections on faces. This little kicker adds sparkle back in. It, it increases the color saturation and gives the specimen a lot more life than you would get otherwise. Once you light the crystals, I mean, you have the main light source, the actual definition of the crystal faces and any other attributes of the specimen is done with variety of small cards that range in specularity from completely matte to highly reflective. So trying to balance the lighting can really be uh, a task. For the most part, I'm trying to get very specific results with my lighting, and my reflectors. And then we're going to fire the camera here. So there we go. And let's see what shows up on the monitor. Not too bad.